Hey friends, salmon scotch eggs might sound unusual to some of you, but my mom used to make something like this when I was younger because being from the Gambia, we have an abundance of fish. So well, let me show you how she used to make this. So this is all you need. You have your salmon fillet. You can use any kind of fish fillet you want, but I'm using salmon. Um, some dried bread, boiled eggs, breadcrumbs, bell pepper, half a bell pepper, you don't need a whole, and a bunch of parsley, some green onions, half a bulb of garlic, a scotch bonnet, black pepper, all purpose seasoning, and some salt. So first off, you soak the dried um, bread in some water and allow that to soften. Then you um, have to de-skin the fish. You just need the flesh. And then you cut that into pieces and you blend that. So basically, you're trying to have ground fish. If you can find ground fish in the store, then that's easier for you. So after that, you put it in a bowl and then you blend the seasoning and the vegetables. So I'm cutting them off first, chopping them into bits. You could have um, you could have blended everything with the fish, but I don't have a big food processor, so hence I do things in batches. So here I am blending the veggies, the onion, parsley, bell pepper, garlic, and the scotch bonnet, and then also the bread. So I didn't end up using all of the bread, I just used about half of it, because after it was done, it was done soaking, I realized that I didn't need all. And then I blended all of those together and then add them to the fish, and add the rest of the seasoning, black pepper, all purple seasoning and the salt so you can adjust any of this seasoning according to your tolerance for example for the black pepper or the scotch bonnet and then now you have to roll them into balls and put the egg inside just like normal how you would normally do for any um, any scotch egg roll it in egg first and then you roll it in um, the the breadcrumbs so make sure you grease your hands first because the fish mixture tends to get very, very sticky. So you would want to grease your hands with some vegetable oil or any kind of oil you have, cooking oil. And then roll it in egg first, roll it in the breadcrumbs and that's done. So you repeat this process until you run out of fish mixture. And then here I have it, all five that I plan to make rolled. Although not very nicely, but this is the best I could do. <laughs> so then now you fry them. So you add a lot of oil in a pot and then fry them. It needs to be deep fried, but then um, I realized that my oil wasn't enough, but then it was okay, it turned out well. So when it's golden brown like this, it's done. This is how I like it. Look at it, how beautiful it is. So fresh and nice. And then here I am frying the second batch. So now you cut them open and you serve them. Very simple and easy and also really really good you know fish is always very good well when well prepared and you can um you can eat this with different types of sides depending on what you like but i served it with a lot of seafood based side um so we're having like a seafood feast <laughs> for iftar this day 
Um, so I served it with a creamy coleslaw that I have on this channel, the recipe. I'll try, I'll try to remember to link that video down in the description box. And then some prawns in sauteed onions. This is what we call Gambian gravy. <laughs> and some grilled lobster tail. But with all of this, the salmon scotch eggs were the star of the meal. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.